guys, it's Kat and I am going through my travel makeup bag and brush bag with you today. So when you're watching this, I am currently overseas. I've gone to Japan for two weeks. So um, I am trying to travel light, as light as possible. The only things I've packed at this point in time is my makeup and my brushes. So, you know, I'm still doing some laundry and all that kind of stuff to pack my other stuff. But um, I decided to kind of keep my makeup quite minimal because I find that usually when I go on holidays, I overpack and I don't use half the products and I'm just like lugging it around. And also in Japan, there's heaps of Japanese makeup. So if I need any more makeup, I will buy some more makeup. So I thought I'd go through um, the brushes that I'm bringing, which is in this bag. I might add to it because there's so much room in this bag. Like I haven't done, I haven't put much in there. And then also back here, this is my makeup bag. Once again, there's quite a lot of room in it. So I could potentially, I'm probably gonna add more lip colors. Let's be real. This color that I'm wearing today, it's the first time I've worn it and I love it. So I'm like, maybe I'll bring that along with me. Um, it is the Too Faced Melted Matte. It's a new shade. I don't know. It's one of the new shades in the Melted Matte range. But this is a makeup bag. It's just a Crabtree and Evelyn bag, which I thought it holds a lot. It's actually a pretty good bag. And I thought I'll just go through the stuff that I'm bringing. So this stuff. All right, this is like toiletry stuff, but I just thought I'd chuck them in my makeup bag because it was the only thing that was packed. I didn't want to forget them. I've got some uh, kind of just painkillers. I do tend to get headaches and bad period pain and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my period while I'm overseas. Anyway, so I've got some painkillers and I've got some Finergan for the flight back to help me sleep. Um, tampons, it's not makeup. Uh, now let's get to the makeup. This is actually a pretty cool bag because you can open it all the way and like access everything. Kind of cool. So I guess the method behind my packing was that I wanted to find something that, like products that I could definitely use on a daily basis, but also if I had samples, I would bring that instead of full sizes. And also um, I'll bring products that in, if I lost them or if they broke or something happened, I'm not gonna be super devastated. So we'll start with the base products. I've got two little primers here that are little samples. I got them in Mecca Beauty Loop boxes. So I haven't used them. We've got the Hourglass one. So that's the uh, Mineral Veil Primer that I've used before. And this is the Smashbox Photo Ready. I think that's a pore. It's an oil-free primer, whatever. Then foundation was hard because I sort of wanted to bring the Revlon Color Stay because I know that that one holds up on me all day and I don't really need to worry about touching up. Um, but it's a glass bottle and I was a bit worried about it, you know, traveling and it's quite heavy. So instead I'm bringing this guy, which is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and it's in the shade 115. And this is really compact, really kind of quite sturdy. Um, and it's a decent foundation. Now I did also bring um, a couple of concealers. So the main concealer that I'm planning on using is this one here. It's a Makeup Forever Full Cover. It's a waterproof um, concealer. My shade is, I think it's 25 sand. But this is a really good one because if this foundation does break down around my T-zone, if I just put this on my T-zone, it's sort of like, stays budge proof all day. So I think the combo of these two are gonna be pretty good. Now I haven't tested this one in a while and because I haven't tanned or I haven't been out in the sun for a long time, um, I decided to bring my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Fair um, to lighten any of these up in case I need to do some color adjusting. Then a setting powder that I know is like once again, super cheap and if it breaks, I'm not gonna be devastated, but at the same time, it helps my makeup last all day. It is the Rimmel uh, Stay Matte in translucent or transparent. Um, I'm gonna have to tape this one closed because this does just kind of come open. So I might do a bit of tapey tapey before I leave. And then because I wanna be excessive, I never use setting sprays, but I thought, look, if that foundation doesn't hold up really well, it is warmer in Japan than it is in Melbourne at the moment, um, I thought I'll bring my NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Now this does help mattify the skin and it does help prolong the wear of makeup. I do find it a little bit kind of 
it makes your foundation or your face feel a little bit powdery because it is quite mattifying. So normally I don't like wearing it on a daily basis, but if I'm running around and I'm riding bikes and I'm walking everywhere and it's sunny, um, I thought this was a good one to bring and if I lose it, it's cheap so I'm not devastated. Then for the other face products, so like bronzer, contour, blush, um, I brought pretty much the products that I'm I have in my project pan. So I've got the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in light medium. That's how much I've got left. So, you know, it's enough for two weeks. That's cool. That packaging is quite bulky. So I was a little bit like, eh, I don't really want to bring it, but I don't like, I don't care if that breaks. I really don't care. Then I'm also bringing my project pan blush, which is the Rimmel uh, lasting finish soft color blush in 120 pink rose. So once again, um, I've been wearing that every day, so I know I can wear it every day. And then as one of my highlighters, because I can't just bring one, I've got to bring two. Um, my Estee Lauder, this is the Cyber Pink Cyber Metallic Eyeshadow, which I'm panning, but I'm using it as a highlighter in my project pan. So that might not even, it should last me two weeks. But I kind of thought if I want something different from like a pink highlighter, I'll bring a ColourPop highlighter as well. Because once again, if this kind of breaks, you just mush it back into place. So this one's in Wisp, which is more of a gold champagne color. So that one's a really pretty one. And um, once again, super cheap. I've got heaps of these. So if I lose it or break it and can't fix it, I'm not going to be upset. Oh, and with base products as well, um, I'm bringing a new pack of blotting sheets so this is by napoleon purtis um i've never used these but shine control blotting sheets for oily skin girls blotting sheets are a necessity all right for the eyes i have literally just gone two things i bought this palette specifically for this trip so this is the tartist to go palette eyeshadow palette by tarte so i did do i don't know if it'll be up Next week, um, I will do uh, Get Ready With Me using like products that I haven't really tried before. And I did a look using this, but it's a really nice little eyeshadow palette. Uh, it's got six shades, three of them are shimmer, three of them are matte. The quality is really nice, a little bit of fallout, um, but really nice quality eyeshadows. And I figured I can do like complete looks with this really easily. It's got a really beautiful bronze that I'll be hitting up. It's got a nice cranberry that I can wear like with a bit more of a heavier liner and I can like wear it out if we're going out there's a bit of gold and some like basic um, mattes which are really really good so I thought this is going to be my staple the one thing that this is missing um, is actually like a matte cream so if I wanted to blend it all out or if I wanted like a brow bone highlight or to set my base um, I end up just bringing a single with me once again I, I don't really use this so if I lose it I don't really care it's a Sephora beauty amplifier um, it's supposed to be like a powder primer but essentially all it is is a like a matte cream color that you can you know kind of put all over your lid to i think amplify the colors you put on whatever it's essentially a matte cream eyeshadow so i'm bringing that along i forgot to mention the eyeshadow primer that i'm bringing it is the benefit stay don't stray um this once again is in my project pan and I'm getting quite low in it. So I'm a bit worried it won't last, but I'm pretty sure if I'm a little bit sparing with it, it will last. And once again, this is really easy. It's better than like glass packaging, like tubs and like paint pots and stuff. Um, that's not going to break or anything happens. So really easy. All right, I've got a bit excessive with liner and brow products because I'm the type of person that um, the very minimum that I will do for makeup or if I want to look put together but not have to like do too many steps, I always want to do my brows and I always want to do mascara and generally like liner. That ends up making me look like I've got shit going on um, even though I might not have shit going on. Um, so for liners, I've picked a few. Now I've picked two. Um, to put like either smudge on the lash line or to put in the waterline. This one is just one by Models Prefer. It's like this kind of olive color um, and it is in my project pan. So I'm bringing it because it's in my project pan and I wanna use more of it, but I don't know if I wanna bring a sharpener with me, which is why I brought it back up. That is like a twist up one. So this one is by Prestige and it is just a brown, it's in espresso. And once again, it's just like a dark brown, which I quite like. You could either smudge on your lower lash line 
um, you can kind of smoke out a look or what I like to do is I always like to color in my waterline so this one doesn't require sharpening which is why this is my backup so I want to kind of use the one that's in my project pan as much as possible but I don't know if I want to bring a sharpener with me so backup then for my liner like I always do a winged liner and um, I I decided to bring uh, like this is almost a brand new I've used it a couple times this is by Longcomb and it's the Liner Mini Maxi in Noir. So it is one of those felt tip, no it's not a felt tip, it's a brush tip liquid liner and I thought because I've only used it a few times it should last me a couple of weeks hopefully. But I do find that this, these kind of liquid liners don't last as well on, on my eyes as a gel formula. So I thought I'll bring my Colourpop one as a backup. So this is in the shade Swerve and it's just a black. It's a really nice creamy pigmented liner. Um, not my favorite, like I think other ones are like better, like the Inglot ones, the MAC um, fluid lines are better, especially with longevity, but you know, if this breaks, I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna be bringing another eyeshadow. This is um, the Laura Mercier Caramel eyeshadow and I have repressed this, so this is also in my project pan. And the main reason I'm bringing this is so I can try to use it up a bit more because it's in my project pan. It might break. I'm a little bit worried that it might break and I'll end up just having to keep it closed until I get home and can repress it. But I also sometimes like using this as a blush. So if I don't want to use a pink blush and I just want more of a nude blush, um, this one is one that I tend to go for. So I'm bringing that one as well. All right, for lashes, I'm bringing a mini mascara. This is the Ciate. Wonder Wand Mascara that came in the Chloe Morello pack. It's actually a really nice mascara. I've used it a couple of times and then it kind of sat in a drawer so I thought um, I'll pull it out and I'll, I know I'll be happy to use it because it's a really nice mascara and these kind of samples always last, they generally last me like a good month so I'll use that. Then I'm bringing one pair of lashes. This is a brand new, unused, unopened pair of Model Rock lashes in the shade W376. Now what I tend to do with this is I cut them in half and I use like just them on the outer quarters. And these sort of lashes last me a good, probably about six, seven, eight, depending on how well I kind of clean them. Um, six, seven, eight wears, but then because I get two sets of lashes in it, because I cut them in half, I can easily get up to potentially 20 uses out of this one packet. So um, we will be doing a little bit of filming while we're in Japan. So um, I will chuck these on when I'm going out or filming. And of course, I'm bringing a Model Rock lash glue with me. This is a bit funky and gross, but it's the one lash glue that I always use. So there we go. So before I said that I'm going a bit ham on the brows and I'm not lying, I'm bringing a bunch of brow products. I don't know why, um, but I'm bringing my... Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in um, medium brown. This I am trying to pan, so I just thought I'll bring it with me um, and use it when I want to use it. Um, but then also I'm bringing my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. This is in the shade 25. Maybe my concealer's not in 25, but definitely in sand. Anyway, um, this is a lot more waterproof and it's lighter than the... Anastasia one. So I find that if I want a bolder brow, Anastasia one's great. If I want a more natural brow, sort of similar to what I'm wearing today, a little bit lighter and a little bit more budge proof, this one's really good. Um, so I'm bringing that one with me. It's good for traveling, doesn't take up much space. And then also in my project pan, I've got my Benefit Gimme Brow. So I thought I'd bring that along and I'm bringing two brow pencils. One is by Eye of Horus. And it's a medium dark one. So it's one of those really, really thin um, brow kind of, it's sort of like the brow is really, really thin, easy to kind of like define if I wanted to. But one of the reasons I wanted it as well is it's got a really cool spoolie that I like to brush through. And then if I want to go for super light brows, which is like no makeup days, just chuck something through really quickly. Um, I'm bringing my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is shade number two. And um, once again, it's got a mad spoolie, which always comes in handy, but the color is a lot lighter than my than what like I usually do my brows as, but it kind of matches my natural brows. So if I want to look like I'm wearing no makeup, just a bit of mascara and chuck on a little bit, like fill in the gaps, because I've got really sparse brows, um, that's a good color to go for. So I've got options, brow options. 
which I think is important for some reason. I'm also bringing a little mini perfume, which I think I must have got from a um, Mecca Beauty Loop box because I, I don't remember getting this or anything about it, but that's going in my makeup bag. All right, now onto serious stuff. And this is where it will expand. What I'm gonna do is go through my handbag and pick some of my favorite daily lip products and put them in this bag. So probably good that I've got a lot of room. At the moment, I have five lip products. Um, oh, and I'm also bringing my Carmex, but that's next to my bed. So it's not in my bag at the moment. Um, at the moment, I've got five, but I know that I'll at least add in three or four, maybe more lip products because I am happy to go with the same makeup every day as long as I can change up the lip. It's just it's just a thing. So I'm bringing my Maybelline. This is the the Elixir um, kind of lip gloss in Nude Illusion because this is a really pretty kind of gloss that just has like a nude. Um, it's it's shiny but not sticky and it's got a nice nude color to it. So that's a really good one. If I'm going out, I've got my little bag. If I can just put it in my little bag and touch up. Um, really good one. So I'm bringing that. I'm also bringing another nude. I'm a bit concerned about bringing twist up lipsticks in case that in case they break or something happens. So I'm mainly bringing kind of stick form ones. Um, and I'm bringing my Huda Beauty liquid matte in trendsetter. Now I don't love this, but at the same time, it's a nice nude. And I know for a fact that it fades off really naturally. And when you're traveling, the last thing you want to do is constantly be checking your makeup. So I thought this is a good one to bring because it's not too drying. Um, it's not too bold. And at the same time, when it wears off, it doesn't look crazy. So I'm bringing that one, even though it's not my favorite formula. Um, then if I want to go out and I want to wear a red lip, um, I love the Too Faced Melted Mattes. This is a mini from a Christmas collection. I love the formula of this. This is Lady Balls, one of my favorite reds of all time. This is another one from the collection. I love these. I might bring this one along as well. Ah, oh, I don't know. How many do you want to bring? I don't know. But um, that's my like red of choice. And then I'm bringing also a, cup, a couple of these Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Bold Liquid Lipsticks. Now these are crazy things because they're like, it's like a gloss that stains and they last a really long time. This nude one I love. It's usually in my handbag. I wear it a lot. Um, it is called Daring, is it? Yeah, Daring Beige Number no. Two. So this has a little thing like this, and you click it up and you get the product out. And this is really nice because it's almost like a grayish nude. Um, it's not really warm, it's it, and it's really flattering. So um, that one is really easy. Once again, it leaves your lips quite um, moisturized for a long time and then it fades down to a stain so that it doesn't wear off looking funny. And then I just picked a random color from the range. This one is in Seductive Magenta. So if I wanted something a bit different to a red or a nude, um, this one looks like this guy here. So that one also fades down to like quite a vibrant fuchsia color. So um, I just thought I'd bring a couple of those because, yeah, you chuck them on and even if you eat or drink, of course, the kind of glossy part will disappear, but it'll still leave some color on the lips and it's really easy to reapply. So um, I didn't swatch the red one. Let's swatch the red one. This is a red one as well. It's, oh, it's flipping amazing. There you go. So currently lip gloss, matte nude, glossy nude, and then two colors, but knowing me, I'll add a few more in there because that scares me that I'm so limited. I need to just tell myself I'm gone for like 14 days. So five lip products are probably all right, but I'll add some more in there. So I decided to get a baby wipe to wipe off my hand. I picked up my Carmex that's coming with me. And the shade that I'm wearing on my lips that is from the new range is this one. It is called Suck It. Suck it. It's gorgeous. I bought three and I think this is my favorite one. So I might bring this one too. Maybe. So that's the makeup I'm bringing and I'm also going to be bringing brushes. Um, I'm also bringing a Daiso Puff and Sponge Cleaner. So I will be cleaning these. I'm not bringing like two weeks worth of brushes. I am going to, you know, keep them clean. Um, we're staying in like Airbnbs the whole way through. So we've like booked out apartments or houses. So you know, I can clean them in the kitchen if I want. Okay, so this is all I'm bringing. I've got a Kabuki brush for powder, check. I've got 
one Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge for foundation. Check, I need to keep that one clean. And a little mini one for like concealer. Then I decided to bring this little guy, it's by MAC, it's the 168SE um, and I'm just going to use that for like bronzing and, cons and what is the word? Contouring. Um, and the main reason I'm bringing that is because it's so little and it's a little travel one. So handy. Um, I'm also bringing this little dude. This is from Thin Lizzy. How awkward. Um, but it is sort of dirty at the moment. I will clean it, but it is, I'm going to use it for blush. I realize I don't have many blush brushes and all of them that I do have are dirty. So this one's small and handy and fits in the bag nicely without kind of like pushing the bristles down and warping the brushes. Um, I'm thinking of bringing the Real Techniques contour brush for highlighter. Normally I go the setting brush, but I've got about four of them and they're all dirty. So if I could wash them, I will wash them, but if they dry in time, I'll bring one instead of this, but otherwise I'm bringing this. All right. So for the rest of it, I'm bringing these guys here. I've got three brushes that I can easily use just to kind of pack on or, um, you know, apply eyeshadow. So I've got one, this is just by, I think it's models prefer. It's like a cheap one, um, but it's just like a paddle brush. So it's really thin. You can kind of do stuff under the eye, pack on product. So that's really easy. Then I've got two of my favorite brushes. This is by models prefer and it's the cream eyeshadow brush. I really like that because it's kind of easy to just blend stuff out and chuck it on really quickly and even under the eye. And then also for a similar thing, um, the Real Techniques base shadow brush, that's really good because of the point. You can really kind of get anywhere you want to get in a corner, wherever, like put something in the crease really precisely. Um, but it's also really versatile. So those are like packing on product. Then I'm going two blending brushes. One is a little bit smaller. It's by Sigma and it is the diffused crease. And one is a little bit fluffier and it's the blending brush by Master Makeup by Dean Nixon. This is stained orange for some reason, but they're really handy. Um, and if I keep them clean, I can use them time and time again. I tend to use one for like darker colors and one for like lighter colors. So um, at any one time I will be using two, but you know, Two's all I need. Then I've got a couple of brushes that are like more sort of dense and more precise. So for example, if I want to do inner corner highlight, this um, Sigma smudge brush is really good because you can just get in there or if you're packing product on the lower lash line. And um, I just thought this domed utility brush from Sigma as well is kind of handy for like, once again, just putting concentrated amount of product or smudging something out. So they're coming. Then I'm bringing two angled brushes that I can use in my brows. These are really cheap brushes, so if I lose them, I'm not really upset. Um, they look like this one. They're both synthetic. Um, this one is a lot firmer and I prefer it. This one's from Crown Brushes. I think it's just the liner brush. I don't even know. Um, and this one is a really kind of flimsy one. And this is by UBU. I don't know. Then the last thing I'm bringing are two liner brushes. Now I was tempted to bring three but I'm bringing two. Now this one is like a travel one from Sigma. It's the eyeliner E95. I've had it for ages. It's getting really kind of stumpy, um, but it fits nicely. And the problem with these brushes, once again, if you, if they do kind of sit in a bag and get squished, you lose the whole ability to, to get a precise line. So a little one is pretty handy. Um, it's actually probably should be thrown out because it's really kind of wonky, but I could do that after Japan. Um, and then because I do liner every day, I thought in case I need a backup and one's not clean, I'll bring this sort of double sided one by Mac. This was in one of their Christmas collections. So it's got a liner that's protected, which is handy. Get it off. If I can get it off, there we go. So it's got a liner on one end that, you know, I can keep quite protected and it is quite sharp and precise because I haven't used this much. And then on the other end, I've just got like a, a flat brush. So once again, I can just pat, pat on product. So um, that's all the brushes I'm bringing. And I've got so much space in there. Look, guys, what? What? Um, but I might put my Daiso Puff and Sponge Cleaner in there too. All right, guys, that's the makeup and brushes I'm bringing away with me for a couple of weeks. I'm hoping it's all good. The test I'm going to do is the day before I leave, I'm going to just do my makeup using this. 
and if there's anything that I've missed out, um, that's when I can go, oh wait, I forgot the X and I can add that in as well. So I think I've got everything I need, but I will test it by doing a full face and um, seeing if I do indeed. Um, I was thinking of doing this with toiletries as well, but I don't think I'll have enough time because I think toiletries, I'm leaving that kind of last minute. But what I will do when I'm away, and I did this last time I went in like, on holidays to Vietnam was I will film uh, at, right at the end of my holiday I will film uh, empties so I like to bring like little travel size of sizes of things and whatever and if I've used anything up while I'm away or I just don't want to lug it back to Australia um, like if it's a half used shampoo or something like in a little bottle um, I will do an empties on the products that I'm discarding before I leave so that will give you some insight into some of the skincare and hair care and toiletries that I brought with me. So anyway, hopefully that was interesting to some extent. Um, that's the makeup I'm bringing with me while I'm going away. And those are the reasons why I'm bringing it. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you when I'm back from Japan. Um, do keep an eye out on the Beauty News channel because we'll probably be posting vlogs on there. So Japan vlogs because Hayley's coming with me. So we may as well do it on the channel we have together. And um, yeah, that's where all the info will be. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.